mindfulness in plain English, uh, beyond mindfulness, and the four foundations for mindfulness are all together in this volume. Mindfulness in plain English actually is the uh, meditation uh, manual or meditation uh, uh, guidebook because uh, it gives uh, all the basic instructions and if somebody is very uh, seriously practicing, one can find in mindfulness in, in plain English some very profound message. Not only it is not a book for a beginners, but it is even for advanced people because the beginners will not see the subtle, deep message. Uh, when we practice, the message becomes very, very clear and then your practice uh, becomes very sort of solid, strong. Uh, that is what uh, mindfulness in plain English does. And beyond mindfulness, you know, mindfulness is the seventh step of the Noble Eightfold Path. Eighth step is concentration. Beyond mindfulness is uh, directly discussing how to gain concentration, how to practice concentration meditation especially attaining what we call jhana. Jhana, of course, is uh, used in general for meditation, but in this uh, specific uh, uh, area, uh, we discuss uh, the higher level of concentration as jhana. Uh, there are four uh, main jhanas, and there are four other uh, attainments. They are called attainments, but not called jhanas. Uh, they are called sometimes ayatana, rupa, ochara, uh, and so forth. And the third one, uh, four foundations of mindfulness, As I mentioned earlier, mindfulness of the body, feeling, uh, consciousness, and mind objects are the four foundations. They are called uh, four foundations of mindfulness. In fact, uh, each of them is a subject by itself. For instance, mindfulness of breathing is a part of the mindfulness of the body. But mindfulness of breathing is taken even separate, separately and called anapanasati. So, even though these are four foundations, each of them is a foundation, each of them is uh, powerful enough and uh, subtle enough to gain full enlightenment. Mindfulness of breathing is particularly very interesting that uh, you find everything in the rest of the meditation in mindfulness of breathing. Uh, that is why when Buddha uh, asked, uh, gave a sermon on uh, uh, mindfulness of death, <coughs> it is recorded in Anguttara Nikaya. One, there were six monks. Uh, one, the last monk 
He said, if I live long enough to have one inhaling and one exhaling, that time is enough for me to practice mindfulness of death. Why? Because even if one inhaling and one exhaling, you can see the entire phenomenon of impermanence. Death is an example of impermanence. And death is taking place in every nanosecond, every fraction of a second. Death is taking place in us, our, our feeling, our bodily cells, our perceptions, our thoughts, and our conscious, all arise and pass away so quickly that uh, passing away means death. Rising is birth. Passing away is death. So taking birth and passing away, taking birth and passing away takes place all the time. And therefore even mindfulness of breathing itself is a very big uh, uh, topic, uh, subject of meditation. So four of them are discussed in the third book, Four Foundations of Mindfulness. I have made it as uh, simple as possible for so that anybody can uh, uh, practice. Even looking, reading the book, uh, they can uh, uh, they can start their practice, even if they don't have a teacher, because it is written in very simple language.